Let us start with the unrest in Egypt, where anti-colonial passions continue to run high and where our soldiers continue to come under fire from nationalist insurgents. It is vital that we remain and successfully defend the Suez Canal, a point that I will be making in person to the Commonwealth heads when I host them for the weekend at Chequers. Weather permitting. Indeed. What is the latest information that you have? About the weather? It's fog, ma'am. It will lift eventually. I was hoping for something more scientific. Then I will ensure that a barometric report is included in your box tomorrow, complete with isobars and isohumes. It has been an unusually cold winter, and there are only so many things that I, as Prime Minister, am prepared to inflict on your subjects as a reward for winning a world war and prevailing over fascism, evil, and tyranny. Letting them freeze is not one of them. You do not seem unduly concerned. I'm not. You do know that my late father wrote many years ago to your predecessors to express his deep concern about the inner city power stations that your party was building. Indeed. And I was sympathetic with your father's concerns at the time. I also have sympathy with the leader articles in the newspapers today, baying for blood, wanting my head. People have to be angry at someone, but as a leader, one cannot simply react to everything. We need the power stations, we need the coal. People need to burn coal to warm their homes. It is weather. It will pass. Well, I do hope so. Not least because my husband's mood is intolerable. Why? Well, being caged in like this, he can't fly. Fly where? Well, nowhere. He's learning to fly. Whatever for? Have we not enough qualified pilots to take him where he needs to go? No, he wants to fly himself. It's a boyhood dream. It's what he's always wanted. Why was government not consulted? Because it's a private matter. And I am in favour. Nothing you or His Royal Highness do is a private matter. And the father of the future King of England risking his life needlessly is quite unacceptable. Please do not curtail my husband's personal freedoms any further. You've taken away his home. You've taken away his name. There comes a time where one must draw a line in the sand. And the job of drawing that line falls to Cabinet, ma'am, not to you. Something your dear late papa would certainly have taught you had he been granted more time to complete your education. And now our time is up. Until next week. Meteorological.